Well, here you go. Opening scene. How's that look? This is uh, Blue Lake. I was caretaker on a cottage on this lake for many, many years. And now, check this out. Day one. Day one. So, we've got a Appalachian style log home that was just prior to Tom meeting me and us joining forces. So this is a, a five by 12. Timber with a half dovetail. So eight courses and you got a wall with a chink space. So we had a young guy hired to rip out the old deck and put a new deck on. No, he started up front, but when he got around to the back and pulled the joist off, oh my, what he found. He found some decay. What do I do now, he says. Well, the homeowners are the original owners, and they gave him the name Tom Eichelberg is who built it. So he's the young guy is in the community. So he he asked uh, another old timer, and he says, "Yeah, Greg Knights will work with Tom. He built those houses. He lives over here." Within five minutes, he calls me. Another five minutes, he's in my yard, shows me pictures. So what happened was they put a deck all along this back wall. You can kind of see where the joist hangers were fastened in and nobody flashed it. And, and then they put a, a piece of trim like around the window. So once they brought the deck up, they put a piece of trim on it. So now they create this shoulder and then there's, oh look, no gutters. And so, after 30 years of splash and rain, water hitting the side, running down, getting behind that trim and just laying there, just laying there forever and ever, never drying out. Look at this corner. There's nothing even holding the floor joists on the inside, the drywall. It's actually hanging from the floor. The, the floor joist because the the rim in here is totally gone. It's gone There's nothing there and now I I, I had to keep going the headers totally shot um, You know, there's still a little bit of wood there um, I'm gonna strip more of this OSB back and and sister pieces in I got to completely rebuild I don't even know what's holding this up there's a little bit of wood in this still. I mean, there's bad here, bad on the top, but there's still something over here. There's a bunch of pressure on the OSB. I don't want to take any more off. <laughs> we got we got ant trails, and I guess I, I did talk to the son on Saturday. He said, yeah, they had they had some issues with ants, and that's obvious there. But here's the inside rim joist that against the floor joist. So that's all that's all shot. That's got to get replaced. Um, and then you know logs. You see where the the bed and somebody somebody tried fixing it over there and they ended up you know oh look at they put a bunch of foam in there and then they put more trim boards on it so they just rotted more wood. Yep, that's a solution. So, Greg's the guy. Nobody else is going to do this. Greg's the guy. So, I didn't proceed as much as I thought I would today, but we certainly got a view of what we got to work with. Made a material list. Um, and so, we make a trip to town. 
we get trash bags we get material we get all kinds of stuff okay i guess we'll end with a nice view um it's a pretty nice lake let's go crazy let's burn all kinds of time up here it'll take two days to load this video so so there's a resort down at that end and then all the homes people just love to be around water why is that because it's a flat reference we love it so you see that little red building right where that boat passed that's the guy's place that I used to take caretake for so it goes just a little further it's kind of maybe like a, a oval kidney shaped lake but beautiful water just lovely nice and clear I remember swimming out here years ago it was always a pleasant place to be oh there's a fish then you find the fish see him in there he's just setting just below that green pad he's just hanging out come on over here say hello to everybody come on don't be shy it's your one and only opportunity to be on camera there yeah, he's moving he's thinking about it he's gonna step outside of his norm nope Okay. See you later. Bye.